In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to sign in to the TestNav app on a PC, laptop, or desktop, and then also show you some of the accessibility features that are available for every student. To get started, I'm simply going to click the TestNav icon here on the desktop to launch the TestNav app. And this can take a couple of minutes until it fully loads. Now before signing in, I'm going to click on choose a different customer. And there are two places that you could potentially sign in. For the infrastructure trial and for training purposes, you would sign into the park training link on the left hand side. For the actual days of testing in April, you would sign in by clicking the New Jersey link on the right hand side. Since this is for training purposes, I'm going to click Park Training. And it's at this point that the student would enter their credentials. So I'm going to enter the student's username. And I'm going to enter their password. It's a good idea to also test audio. So you can have students do that as well to make sure their headphones are working. And then I'm going to click Sign In. Now you can see here that all three sections of the Grade 9 ELA literacy test are locked. And this is new this year. Instead of seal codes, each section has to be unlocked within Pearson Access Next. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now if I hit Refresh, that section is now unlocked and the student can start the test. So we're going to hit start test now. We're going to hit start section. And I'll go ahead and just answer these questions here. get into the main part of the test and then you can see the different options that are available to the student they can review questions that they previously visited they can bookmark a particular question if they want to come back to it they have a notepad if they want to take notes on a question there's also a answer eliminator and in addition to those options students also have the magnifier which they can drag around the screen and the line reader. So as they drag this down over the text, it will highlight one line at a time. So again, those different options are they can bookmark certain questions. They have a notepad available to them. There is the answer eliminator. And then also underneath the drop down menu, they can enable or disable the magnifier and the line reader. Now when students are finished, they can click the drop down and that's where they will sign out of TestNav. 